And so we're going to do an exercise right now. It's called magnetic alignment. But who's enjoying this? Who's enjoying magnetic alignment? Magnetic alignment is, uh, is a really cool process. Okay, I'll take you through it. It's really cool. Really cool process. So, magnetic alignment is going to create a line of your future self informing back to who you are now. And you might get a pen and paper to write this down um, when we start the session. This is how you line up completely your whole consciousness with your future and then break it back down to now so that it feels like there's this force field just pulling you to that future. It allows you to, number one, get in the path of least resistance with your future. Number two, it allows you to know what the 4% is that you should be working on. Three, it allows you to employ the Matthew effect and start getting small wins. Four, it allows you to realize that all the success will come at the end, just like Fibonacci's told us. And five, it helps you to create a reinforcing loop in your consciousness, a loop until you become it. This will be the most important session of the week. We, we have a downloadable meditation that you can go get if, when you join MagMind, the Magnetic Mind program, and you can do this process every day. Uh, when we run live events, this process I'm about to share with you, we actually do it like on a beach and do it as a walking meditation, and it's, it's cool. So you guys up for it? You up for magnetic alignment? Cool. So I want you to pick the one outcome or choice or goal that uh, matters to you most this year. We're going to have time to do the others. I just want you to pick one that matters most this year. Write it in the chat box if you like, or write it down on a piece of paper. I choose the end result of, and then put your choice in. So I choose the end result of more money than I can spend. I choose the end result of a healthy and vital body. I choose the end result of uh, create, being a great mother. I choose the end result of writing a best-selling book. I choose the end result of living a life I love. I choose the end result of, put it down. Yep. Yep. You can write in the chat box or write it down on a piece of paper. Um, and just give me a yes or a one in the chat box or something when, you, when you've done it. Just so I, I don't go too fast. Give everyone a minute just to have that written down. Yes, that's right. I had to. I had to change the maniac on a mission T-shirt to fit. Uh, after a week of wearing it for you guys, it was uh, about to walk itself out of here. So, I need two. I need two. You know what I need? I need another one that says, shift, hit the fan. <laughs> okay. So, I'll take you through the process. So, when you're ready, go ahead and close your eyes. And just close your eyes and take a breath. And in your mind, I want you to choose that end result that you've written down. Choose that end result. And as you choose that end result, breathe it in and just choose it. Now, in the future, make up a time in the future where you'll be living that end result. Just make up a moment when you'd be experiencing it. Now, go into that experience. With your eyes closed, step into the experience of that result being completed. See it with your own eyes. 
compare it with the ears of the you that's already completed it and slide into that body and breathe in. What's it like to be this person who's just created this result? How do you breathe? What, what does your face look like? Who's there? How do you sit if you're that person right now? Become that person right now, strap into their experience and what's it like? Who's there? And how does it feel? And just allow yourself to imagine how good it's feeling to be that person already. To have that result in your life. Notice what your day's like or your life is like. Who do you get to help? Who, who, who helps you? Who's there? Who are you experiencing this with? And how good does it feel? Really? How good does it feel? Where in your body do you feel the feeling of how good it feels? Just allow that feeling to get bigger and bigger if you choose to. Or it could just get a little bit bigger. Either way is totally fine. Alright, leave that out there in the future. Open your eyes and, uh, and come back. How is that? Good start. Okay, so that's the first piece of this. We haven't finished, obviously. So that's out there. So now what we're going to do is we're going to line you up to that. Was it good? Okay, so we're going to line you up to it. So now what I want you to do is close your eyes and imagine yourself as the smaller version of that. Imagine yourself like the sapling, and that's the forest. Imagine yourself like the puppy, that's the dog, like the seed, and that's the tree. Just imagine yourself right now, so close your eyes, and imagine yourself as the smallest version of that. Notice how it feels to be the smallest version of that which you've created. What's it like to know that's what you're going to grow into? That's what you. That's what's out there, and just experience yourself as the earliest version of that creation, the start of the marathon to the end of the marathon, the beginning of the relationship to the successful marriage, the the first set thing to the forest. Just imagine yourself as the earliest version of that result, and notice how it feels to be that, and just draw a lasso or an elastic band around you and that end result and feel an energetic connection like it's pulling you there. Just notice what it would feel like to put a lasso, elastic band or bungee cord connecting you and that end result. Just experience that. Imagine yourself like you're the painter with the paintbrush and the end result is the masterpiece. What's it like to be the earliest version of that end result and really connect to it, breathe it in, and experience how that is right now? Awesome. Open your eyes and come back. Cool. That's step two. Got two more steps. Fill me in. What was it like to experience yourself as just the smaller version of that? They're growing into it. Right? Living in a future-oriented self. You see, you see the difference is that we've left the past behind. We're going that way. Awesome. Who's feeling clarity? We're going to shift into true clarity, but also alignment and momentum so when you're ready we'll keep moving this time we're going to move into where it's you but you're just 25 percent you're a little bit more like that you does that make sense you're just a little bit more you're mostly like you are now but you've just shifted your life a little bit towards that future you does that make sense so it's just a shift 
So mostly as you are, but a little bit different. You'll follow along. You'll get the gist of it. It's not a big deal. So when you're ready, close your eyes. Step into the experience of being the earliest version of you that is going to be that future end result. And experience this moment like you have no past. There's nothing behind you. It's all melted away. It's been washed away by the sea and swept out. There's no past. In fact, the door has been closed and that mirror is on it and it's only pointing you towards the future. And now as you experience that with your eyes closed, just move forward in your mind to one step closer to achieving your goal. I want you to experience a moment in the future where you're mostly like you are now, but just a little bit different. Step forward now in your mind. What's it like when you're just a little bit closer to your goal? Breathe into that experience. See it with your own eyes and become it now. And as you become this you, notice what it's like to feel a little bit of momentum. Superconscious, please treat this path and this step, any resistance to being this person, and do a massive change history. And allow yourself to just become this you. As you become this you, turn around in your mind and send gratitude to the you that started the journey. Thank you. Appreciate the you that got you started. And notice what's it like in your life now that you've started on this journey. What have you achieved? What have you already done? Just notice it and feel it. How good does it feel? Just breathe that in. How good does it feel? <laughs> Take a big breath. And out. When you're ready... Once you imagine what the next step is, imagine moving into a new step where you're mostly like you will be in the end result, but a little bit like you are at the beginning of the journey. So go ahead and step forward and make up how it would be right before you're about to be successful. What is the last moment right before you're about to be successful, right before you do it? Everything's coming together. Go ahead and step into that experience right now. See it through your own eyes and hear it with your own ears. Become the you that's just about to achieve their goal right before it. You're mostly like you will be and a little bit like you've been. You've still got a little bit of doubt, a little bit of uncertainty, but you're focused. Super conscious, please treat any resistance and do a massive change history and just become this you know, drop into this experience. What's it like to be the you that's just about to create the success they want? And now you're here, send love and gratitude back to the you at the beginning of the journey and the you that got you started. And just appreciate them. Breathe it in. How good does it feel? And now step forward in your mind to achieving the result. Back into the end result, the desired reality. Just be it right now. Step right into the reality of you being it. And now that you become that end result, seeing it in perfection just the way you want, remember how good it feels to be there. See it with your own eyes. Feel it. Really, what's it like to be this person? But this time, now that you're there, just look at how far you've come. How proud of you, how proud are you of you that you created this experience? Superconscious, treat the whole path. Treat it of any worry, any fear and doubts. Do a massive change history. Please treat any impatience. Please treat any beliefs of lack doubt and any identity and just notice what life's like being this person who created this 
and just see it through your own eyes and feel it and be it. In all of your consciousness, if this is what you want, decide it. Decide this is what you want. A smile on your face if, if, you, if it feels good. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes and come back to the session. You can open your eye, open your other eye, wiggle the toe. And then let me know in the chat box, say hi when you're back. Awesome. 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 Who feels lined up with that future? Now you're back in the present moment. Just come back into the present moment. Do you feel lined up? That's how we line up. Because when we when we have a magnetic alignment, it reduces the fear that we have to let go of everything all at once. It's just little changes. Little changes get you there. Oh, getting chills, my friends, as I explain this to you. When when you line your consciousness up that way, like a telescope, like a lens, looking at the big picture and then breaking it down, you just flow to it. This is why other systems haven't worked for you. It's, it's too abrupt. It's too it's it's too uh, unconnected. Can I ask who feels connected to that future then? And you know that you're you're just a smaller version. We will create that future. I, I'm all in on creating whatever it is that you've got in your future. Because I know this is that most likely it serves you, serves others, serves the planet. Right? I don't really attract people to this work who are interested in anything else. They're here to help themselves, help their family, and make the world a better place. And, and I want to be a part of that. With on her party. Now, th this is this is how uh, those men created that change. So here's how you do it, okay? This is this is such a fun process. This is how you do it, okay? So magnetic alignment. What we do is we have four steps, okay? So we have our desired reality out there in the future. Then we have a current reality, one step, two step, and three steps. Uh, sorry, and then it's and then you're in your desired reality. So here's how you do it, okay? This is how you do it. Is First, you get into the desired reality, okay? So we go into a desired reality first, we become that, okay? You become your desired reality. Then you come back to now, the current reality, okay? Then you go ahead to one step with a slight improvement, and then the second step of a big improvement, and that gets you right to the end. So can I ask, who feels different after doing that process? I can tell you why you feel different. You feel different because your mind informs you how to be in the present moment, the present moment. You will feel different. And if every morning you wake up and do your core four choices and do a magnetic alignment like that, if you just did that, who here agrees that life will be significantly different? Your brain will learn to live as that person and it will start adjusting everything in your reality to be that. And then simply all we do is we line you up like that and we let go of who you've been. That's what we do. And magic ensues.